activity for Tuesday. So, and for today, we got this cool little activity that we found that maybe some of you readers out there will like. If not, that's okay. Some of you artists might take a fancy to this. Um, and fancy is just a word for like. But it's called A Lifetime Tale in Pictures. You see the cool little figures on here. Basically, what we want you to do or the paper says to do is draw the main character from a book you have recently read, show them as a baby, middle-aged, as an older person. So like middle-aged could be like your parents' age, and then like older could be like your grandparents. Um, underneath each picture, write what you think they might be doing at that point of their life. For example, if you drew Harry Potter as a baby, he might be casting spells on his mom to feed him lots of yummy food. And mom is just how they say mom in England. Um, so I haven't recently read anything, and that's a big no no. You guys should be reading. But I guess I'll try and do Harry Potter because I like Harry Potter. So this is what the page you'll be drawing on is going to look like. So Let's just go ahead right here for the character name. We're going to write Harry Potter. How many Harry Potter fans are out there? Let me see your hands. Uh, so I'm going to give my best shot. It's not going to be too pretty, but we'll see what we can do. So we're going to draw the three stages of Harry's life. And first, I'm going to start out with a little baby. Okay, I kind of went ahead and uh, I, I went ahead and kind of just drawn the three areas of his life as a baby, middle, and older person. So, not to spoil what they look like in the bottom, here's a little look at the baby. I know it's some of the greatest drawing you've ever seen. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I know it's not the best, but as long as you have that scar out on his forehead, for those of you that know, thou who shall not be named gave him that mark. Uh, when he was a baby, that's how everybody identified him. And I gave him his little, little bit of hair he had, and he's wrapped up in his little blanket. So that's baby Harry. Okay? And then now, we've got middle-aged Harry. We've got old Harry. Okay? It's a middle-aged Harry. You know, he's finished up his time at Hogwarts. He's working in, you know, as uh, somebody that retrieves criminals. Alright? You know, Harry's got his little wand right here and his little robe outfit. Uh, he's got his little scar. He's looking all nice and middle-aged young. And then over here, we got Harry, old Harry. He's got some facial hair going on. Still got the scar. He's got his wand, and he's passing it on to the younger generation. So, I want you guys to pick out a character. You know, it doesn't have to be an amazing drawing. You know, mine certainly wasn't. But just give it a shot and draw three stages of their life. And, um... You need to write. You need to write what you think they might be doing at that point in their life. So, like right here for the baby, I, I for, almost forgot. We need to write that Harry was just born to his mommy and daddy. Even though those who read the story know how that tragically goes. And then right here, Harry has graduated, and is working as a wizard. And then over here, Grandpa Harry is passing his wand on to the younger generation. There you have it, guys.
guys. So basically, you know, draw this character, draw that character, and then give us a little description of what they're doing. And uh, we hope to see what your pictures look like. So hope you guys have fun.